Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Furman BMW in sunny Palm Harbor, Florida, because guess what? We have it. This is a 2020 BMW X5 40i. Let's talk a little bit about the X5. The X5 has been around since 2000, right at the turn of the century. It's really that mid-size SUV competitor to go up against the likes of the Audi Q7 and definitely the Mercedes-Benz GLE class. One thing is for sure, BMW feels that this really is a sweet spot in their SUV lineup to fit many different families' needs and wants and desires. So let's go ahead and dive into this 2020 BMW X5. Now the first thing you should know, it was redesigned for 2019 and that continues into 2020. You can see the work that they did with the headlight design. So you have your U-shaped daytime running lamp. So it's interesting how they've taken the halo concept and integrated into their headlight design, but full LED. And I think on this particular trim, the silver chrome at the top kind of fits with what you're gonna see around the rest of the front fascia. Now, as we drop down, you do have some uh, other exterior lighting, plus you're getting flat black. So I'm glad to see that this is flat black instead of gloss and a little bit of silver, which really integrates nicely. Now this lower area is a zonk for me. I wish that this was actually functional. None of this is except for channeling air into the air curtain. So I wish they would have done something with this empty space down in this lower area, but you do have a side air curtain that is functional. Another thing I've always liked about BMWs is how they do the corners of their front fascia, the way it kind of extends in a downward slope gives it a nice look. Now, as we come across the large grill, this is something that's been a talking point with many different manufacturers, especially BMW, the size of the grill, they keep getting bigger and bigger, especially on that X7, but you can see the kidney sh shape is still there. It's almost like a kidney butterfly shape to it. You have your forward facing camera. You can see how the hood integrates into the chrome grill. We drop down, we have two horizontal slots, which are flat black and a little bit of flat silver to kind of tie it all in, but definitely has that particular look that I think a lot of people are looking for in their midsize luxury SUV. Now, when you get up onto the hood, of course, you're gonna have that BMW, Bavarian Motor Works badging, two very prominent body lines. Other than that, very, very clean when you get up onto the hood. Now, when you come around the bend, what are we working with? We have some nice wheel and tire options set up on this. This is a 21 inch wheel, optional wheel, with the machined aluminum, the gunmetal gray, you have your BMW logo right there. Very, very nice touch. It's a 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall. The way the vehicle sits is nice. I think for me though, I am gonna zonk the flat black. I think on a BMW, uh, that's a no-no. They should have just made it all the same color uh, to give it a little bit cleaner look. But as we continue down the side fender, you do have your side vents. That's another unique touch that has been on many of the different BMW products and it helps break up this area because if you look, it could be a little bland, but adding this gives it just a nice touch to it. Another thing that I like about this particular X5 is I like the brushed aluminum roof rails and the treatment above the top and the bottom around the windows. That gives it a nice look as well. We have color matched mirror caps. You can see all the cameras, cameras out the front, out the back, on the sides with your turn signals. Very nice belt line that kind of flows up down low. We have a little bit of that silver that's been taken from the front, put on the, on the vent and across that lower sill area. And as we work our way back, nice size quarter window, has a nice shape to it with the trim that goes around. And then when we get to the back, super, super clean. So you have your X5 badging, LED uh, taillights, of course, very, very low roof spoiler. This guy right here, that's a zonk. These need to be taken and tucked underneath and just have them swing down that way. But as we swing down the tail end of the business here, you have your S drive, 40i badging, and then you have decorative, almost rectangular-ish um, exhaust outlets and some silver trim. But other than that, very, very clean on the back, the tail end of the business. Let's go ahead, pop the hood and see what's powering this BMW X5. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Underneath that hood, you can see the aluminum bracing that's been placed there to help stiffen up the front end of the vehicle. Large engine cover, but it is tasteful. I'm liking it. It's a three liter, 335 horsepower, 
turbocharged straight six. So inline six turbocharged engine. Besides the 335 horsepower, you're getting 350 pound feet of torque. It's all made it through a ZF eight speed automatic transmission. The vehicle weighs around 4,900 pounds. MPGs in the city, in the city around 20 miles per gallon on the highway, 26 miles to the gallon. And like I said, for a mid-sized vehicle, I think that is a nice performance balance. If you want more, you can actually get the X5 on a di different trim level with more power. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the interior and see how this X5 brings the luxury to you. All right, guys, we're inside the BMW X5, this 2020. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, how much is this one? I, I, I like the midsize segment. What's this bring to the table price-wise? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is around $65,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, to the door panels, I like what BMW did by mixing up some of the materials. So you have uh, soft material at the top of the door with the stitch work, the silver around the lock and unlock buttons, and then you're gonna have some softer leather on the armrest, and look at the wood grain finish. I think that adds a nice flavor and some interior lighting in that silver trim as well and a large, very large door pocket that you could put all your snacks in there, Twinkies, uh, Ho-Hos, whatever you got for your drive in your X5. Now, material nice and soft, the stitch work is great. You can see how they brought the silver with the wood trim. The way the dash is, it's at a nice uh, you know, space forward and everything's kind of angled towards the driver, which I'm really liking. You have this 12 inch uh, display, super clear. You have your navigation, obviously, uh, everything's touchscreen. How do we know that? Because I'm touching it and it's actually doing something. But you could go into your car settings. There's our X5 there. Get into all the different uh, readouts. Very, very fast reacting. Let me put the vehicle in reverse, show you what we're working with. Backup cameras, you got your 360, super clear. Trajectory as well, which is a nice touch. Um, and then we'll go right back to park uh, to lock us in, which is real easy to do. You keep working your way down. You have your AC controls. Obviously, this is from PDI, but you can see even the digital screen here. You could raise and lower uh, everything, and it's all real nice. I'll cover that back up. Heated seats, no ventilated seats. So that is a Zonk, $65,000. You see this? This is heated. Where's my ventilated seats? There are none. So I know you could option them in, but I think we'd all agree it's $65,000 they need to be in here. Very, very slim on the radio controls. And then when you drop down, you have a lot of that wood finish with the silver. Open up door number one, slides open nicely. Two cup holders, a USB and a 12 volt, and your wireless charging in there. We close it up very nicely. You can see how the wood comes around. This is gonna control that ZF eight speed automatic. You got your start stop button. You have all your different um, settings here where you could actually adjust. It does have uh, adaptive dampers at all four corners so you could go into sport and when you do that that is going to set everything a specific way you have your bmw direct drive i drive control knob which is real easy to use that gets you back we could go back to home real quick here we are in home real easy to navigate through everything watch we go on car i hit car and now we're going through all the different selections real easy to do it's a one two three kind of thing i like the silver these armrests, I don't know who's designing them, but if you want comfort, this is not very comfortable, but open up, bombs away, and what do we have in there? You could easily put two bags of those small Lay's potato chips, a USB-C, which is a nice touch, close it up. Seats, very clean, the design's very clean. I like the stitch work, soft leather. Let me show you the key fob so that you could also have that as well. There's your BMW key fob, nice clean touch but the seats are just as clean as the fob. You have your hamstring extension, which is nice. And then of course you're getting power for both passenger and the driver. And this one has the panoramic sunroof, which is nice to help bring in some light because it is kind of dark for an interior. Space though, I feel great. Six feet tall, plenty of headroom. Shoulder room is nice. Coming over the business end because this dash is gonna blow your mind. All right guys, business end, you do have two memory settings for the driver's seat, which is always nice easy to get to on the door. All your other seat controls are gonna be down low and you could get all that bolstering and everything all set up the way that you want it. Steering wheel, I'm gonna say it again, BMW does great steering wheels and they don't, 
They don't have to be flat bottom to look sexy. Great look. I love the stitch work on the horn button, the silver trim, nice, easy to use thumb controls, and you have the paddles for that eight speed automatic transmission. If you thought one 12 inch display was great, you have a second one right in front of you, speedometer on the left, tachometer on the right, and then of course you could toggle through all sorts of information, very easy to navigate through in that center display there, really clean. You got your different modes that read up on the screen and show you exactly where you are. The one thing that this does not have is a head up display. Um, I wish that it would have that at $65,000, but seats are great. Everything else feels really good. Let's check out that back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like this X5. All right, guys, back seat time in the X5. What I love is it's so easy to get in and out of these very large door openings. Here's some smartness. Look at this, USB-C mounted conveniently so that when your kid's device dies, they could plug in very nicely. You have a easy to access pocket, which is great. Nice little command center. So you got your two AC vents and they have their own digital readout on their AC controls. A little bit of a tray here for the Snickers for the Reese's peanut butter cups. And then even down below, you have a 12 volt. So that's another nice feature as well. I have a USB-C so that we're not fighting. Seats, I like the angle of them. They feel great. Armrests, hard as a old German pastry. That's not comfortable. The reason why though, is you do have a place. Get your Skittles, pour them in there. Snack all trip long. Are you getting a little thirsty? Two cup holders. Got to be careful with the finger. Push a little harder than I did. You tuck them back. Boom, ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and check out that cargo area and see how much room you have in the X5. All right, guys, time to see if the X5 is going to earn its keep. We're going to go into that cargo area. What's nice is power assist, push the button, up she goes. Now, if you're wondering, oh my God, what is this piece here? Do I need to pick things up and go bring it in. The nice thing is having this up like this is gonna hold those bags in. So you get a bag of Campbell soup cans and you're rolling around and the cans are rolling around. You don't want them to just pull out the back. If you want this part to go down, very simple. You just press the button, down she goes. It gives you a nice piece of real estate, a nice little landing pad here to slide things in and out. Speaking of the back, look at all that space that you have. Even with the seats up, tons of room. I like the LED lighting, nice and bright back here. You pull on the handle, and this is where it's gonna get fun. So you pull that, seat folds down, you have a 12 volt back here if you're going camping. Maybe you're at the beach and you need to inflate a raft for your kids so that they could go paddle away to somewhere else because they don't wanna live with you anymore. But other than that, simple. You wanna close that, up she goes. You wanna close this, down that goes. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this X5 for a drive. All right guys, we're leaving. Furman BMW, we're in the 2020 X5. Remember, just recently redesigned for 2019. Right away, what you're gonna love is the layout in here. Everything is driver focused. The size of these screens are just ginormous. And visibility, of course, out the front is gonna be great. Even out the back, with the higher headrests, uh, you still have really good visibility. Side mirrors are great. You have the optional Harman Kardon sound system in here very, very smooth. And I like the way the seats kind of wrap around your lower, middle, and upper back very nicely. Bolstering isn't too crazy, uh, so don't worry about that. And the steering wheel is just, is just perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put in sport mode. That's gonna change how, uh, you know, all the parameters of the engine, transmission, steering, all that good stuff. Let me go ahead and get on throttle. Wow definitely has plenty of pickup when it shifts you can hear a little bit of a burble come from the exhaust now the big question is is just how much of this is artificial how much of it is real bmw is known for piping a lot of that sound through their speaker system uh, does it sound good sure is it 100 percent real no that's part of the challenge with cars today and keeping things quiet, but also bringing in some of that environment into the cabin area. But the dash, real easy to, to see. I like the way I have navigation here, which I can make nice and large, but there's navigation also in front of me as well. Let's see how we handle here. On throttle, 
on the brakes. This isn't an M car by any means, but still handles great. That all wheel drive keeping us down planted. And we are off and running. Smooth shifts, even in sport mode. A little bit more deliberate and purposeful, but this thing definitely has plenty of get up and go. Really smooth. And wind noise is at a minimum in here. Everywhere you're touching, the materials are great. And I'm telling you, they're spot on the money with where they have the layout of everything. I could get to the touch screen if I want to do that. If I don't want to use the touch screen, then I could go ahead and use the BMW iDrive control to keep my hand away from that screen. But very, very smooth. Thick, the thickness of the steering wheel is perfect. And it definitely feels higher level fit finish feel the technology in this vehicle is second to none and just very very smooth would i take this over an audi q7 yes i think that this is definitely when it comes to sport when it comes to the interior i like the layout in here a lot more than the audi q7 would i take it over a gle depends i think overall i would just because I feel like the Mercedes products are a little too over the top. I think this is a nice balance. But back on throttle, drops down. The ZF8 speed, I'm telling you, one of the best automatics in the business. Really, really nice. Good brake pedal feel. This, I'm going to remind you, this is not an M SUV uh, by any means, but still shows that in the DNA of BMW, they actually bring that feel and technology and everything into all of their SUVs. I got another acceleration test on throttle. I'll tell you that sport mode works great with keeping you right in the sweet spot power band wise. So smooth though. So, so very smooth. But hopefully this gives you a nice overall feel of what this BMW X5 is all about. We're gonna get back to Furman BMW and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, another great day here at Furman BMW. So glad to finally spend some time with this X5. Is it a competitor against the other German brands and those brands from other locations like Japan? I would say 100% this needs to be on your list. Is it the perfect SUV? I'm not too sure about that. Is there really any perfect SUV that's for you to also find out. But if it's SUVs like these that you wanna see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, working the camera, getting this X5. Thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.